hi it's Mark Shepard here, Mass Tutor. What I want to do today is just to show you or instruct you if you haven't already how to access your college emails from Office 365. It's really important that teachers can communicate with you during this time and using your college emails is the only sensible way to do it. Um, so I'm just going to talk you through that if you don't already know how to do it. <clears throat> so either on your computer or on your mobile device just open the internet first of all you'll have to apologize for my um, the speed things happen here because um, my internet's really um, slow so you go to uh, office.com and that'll take you to a sign-in screen now it'll prompt me to um, to sign in as me because I've signed in before. Um, what you well, the first time you so what you want to put in here is your student number so one nine oh six say, and then um, whatever um, your student login is at hlnsc.ac.uk, and then that will take you to a sign in screen. So you click sign in, put your college password in, and you're in. So clearly I'm just going to log in as me now, just so you can see what you should see. So <clears throat> I will log in as me. Um, and this is where you put your college password. And this is what you'll see. This is your activity, so this is your own college um, site. Your own OneDrive will be here. This is where you will find your emails when you click on Outlook. So you click on that and it opens a new tab. And I'll show you what, what it looks like uh, on your phone in a second. So that's your email account. That's where tutors will email you. Secondly, this is the one where you'll find shared files. So for example, um, GCSE Maths and English GCSE uh, in SharePoint. So if you click on SharePoint and then you'll be able to do a search in this portion here to look for the thing that you're looking for. So GCSE Maths is what your search is say and once you set that search in you can narrow your search down by clicking on sites like so and the only thing that will appear in sites under GCSE Maths is the one that I prepared. It's the only thing there. And when you click on that, it will open the site. And from there, you can follow it. <coughs> so once once you've done that, you only have to do this once. Some of you have already done this, I'm aware. Um, you'll see um, something pop up in the screen in this corner, which will tell you whether you're following or not following my system's quite slow so you click on that star there and that will follow you only have to do that once and once you do that it will then appear in your OneDrive and you'll be able to access the folders from there I will send you links to the files in um, in any case so that's basically what you do go to office.com use your college login student number at hlnsc.ac.uk your own password that you use all the time at college and that's where you'll find emails and communications from members of staff now we still don't know exactly how uh, exams are going to be moderated yet so it's really important that you keep this line of communication going because it may well turn out for FE that there's um, some sort of reset in the autumn we, we just honestly don't know at the moment so it's important that you keep keep this going if you're using a mobile device you will see something so if you go you log in exactly the same this is like a screenshot of my mobile device um, uh, using an Android so you will see when you log into office.com using your own login like I've just described you will see the, the same apps here but you need to sort of drag them across in order to uh, see them all so you've got word on there SharePoint all sorts of things so this is a screenshot of mine if you click on Outlook on your phone you will get um, your emails will open up and that so that's another screenshot of my phone screen here I've redacted those out obviously because there might be something personal in there 
Um, at the bottom here, you will also get an option to on your on your uh, mobile device. You'll also get an option to um, to add Outlook to your home screen. It's probably worth doing that because then you can just click on it to pick your emails up con uh, all the time. And you, if you're using a mobile device, you might well want to get to SharePoint exactly the same way. So you scroll across, click on SharePoint. This would then open, so this is again is a screenshot of what SharePoint looks like on a mobile device. And in here is where you do the search as I described before. So it will look slightly different on a mobile device. So you'll type in GCSE Maths. Again, you can narrow your search down. You can either click search. This is just a screenshot of my my keyboard on my phone. Uh, you click search here or there and then if you narrow it down as I said before using sites you'll be able to see the GCSE maths and the other one which Kim Dobson set up which is uh, English GCSE it's written the other way around for English um, and once you uh, open that you will see see uh, this in here and the activity you can see uh, students uh, activity in here as well uh, you won't need to add it to your home screen because you're only ever really going to use this once. If on a mobile device you don't see the following, not following thing, it's it's behind these three buttons here. So if you click on those three buttons there, it will tell you whether you're following or not following that site, and you literally just click on that to follow it. Um, and and then again, when you open your OneDrive, that will um, already all be there. And um, and that's it from me. So um, hopefully, if you've not been able to receive emails, this little video might just help you to, uh, to do that. Thanks. Bye.